Hey guys, the spring 2022 update is here and I'd like to take you through those new updates and features that our developers have been busy developing for you. Uh, things that I can mention right away is that this update is very much focused on customizing your work and customizing Zona Photo Studio to apply to how you view your photographs, edit them and play around with the metadata and other various information. We can also talk about how there is a much faster way of viewing and editing your photographs and also that the create module has now been split into the print and the video editor has got its own separate module. So let's go take a look and go through the features that we can be excited about. As you've probably noticed, we've changed the look of the thumbnails and modified the information that's displayed. For example, we've added the ability to rate your photographs directly on the thumbnails with the star and label ratings you're already accustomed to. Also, it's easier now to quickly see the difference between videos and photos as there is a time signature on the video thumbnails themselves. Also notice that there is more detailed information below the thumbnails, which are of course different for videos and photographs. We can continue to work in this configuration as there is a new dialog in which we can change what we see. We can change the way thumbnails are displayed as well as change how they are sorted by creation date, names, ascending and descending and so forth. There are a ton of ways that we can shift what we see and we can also influence what information is displayed on our thumbnails. All we have to do is go to the thumbnail setting here and select what information we want to see and don't want to see. And that includes the option of turning everything off if a cleaner aesthetic is preferred. And we can also choose to display this metadata in the film strip regardless of what we have set in the browser. If we now switch to preview mode, notice that we have a more compact appearance set here compared to the explore where a lot more information is present. Here in the preview, let's take a look at another novelty that allows us to personalize what we see. Now we can open the settings of the displayed metadata here in the new menu and completely change what info we'll see in the preview. We can even configure the labels displayed for different parts of Zonar Photo Studio X separately. In this drop-down menu, we can adjust how a preview will look in the single image mode or multiple images if we have more than one displayed at a time. We can also change this in the develop module as well as the viewer or the slideshow. Now let's cover what can be changed here. We can change the background color, we can affect the indentation of the preview, and we can also edit the information displayed in the preview. So if we check some of these fields, we can edit what information is displayed and we can choose the font, color, and several other parameters. If we need more fields for more information, we can easily add more here or create our own settings and then save them as a preset. Okay, now let's go to the viewer. Uh, simply press F3 and the viewer will open. Uh, the viewer has been part of Zoner for a long time and even though it might look the same on the outside, there are some big changes on the inside. Speed is one of the biggest upgrades and you can now turn on or disable a full quality photograph depending on how your computer manages to work with high quality raw files. Now in the viewer, you can tailor what you'd like to appear similarly as we did a moment ago and you can access these settings directly from the viewer where the arrangement principles are the same. Again, here you can influence how as well as how much information is shown. And here's another place you can customize the display to your liking and easily choose what information is presented. We can add additional fields or turn off all of the info if we prefer a cleaner look. We can also adjust the way the information is presented in the slideshow independent from the setting preferences. The slideshow has also undergone several changes. Here we can set whether or not to display manually or automatically. Also, we can set the left mouse button to go back in image when clicked. And this is really handy when, for example, you're presenting a slideshow and uh, you can just use the mouse as a remote control. If speed is your thing, Zonar Photo Studio X now automatically selects the best source 
for quick previews in accordance to your preferences. We've also refined the new one to one quick previews which allow us to have a quick preview and maintain full resolution. We can also generate these quick one to one previews one time for the entire folder in the navigator. Another addition is that ZPSX now stores preloaded thumbnails more efficiently and loads them faster, which you'll especially notice with folders that contain a plethora of images. Next up is the new features in the video editor. First off, you've probably noticed that the video editor became its own module and also that the create module no longer exists. We now have the print and video module as their own. In the video module, we can now export the current image from our edited video. And this can be useful if we have a 4K video and we'd like a still image from that video. Simply click on export image and we will now have a photograph from that video. Of course, there will be plenty of other situations when this will come in handy. And one that comes to mind now is being able to grab the still image add some text in the editor module, and then use that as a thumbnail on, for example, Rumble or YouTube. We've also got other ways of adding new clips. When we choose a clip in the film strip and we want to add it to the timeline, we have several options of what can take place. If we choose to replace the entire clip, the clips are swapped and so forth. Of course, we still get the option of managing everything manually and add the clips to where we actually need them. Now let's take a look at the develop module where we've added a fisheye lens correction that works when you upload the lens profile that you used in Zoner Photo Studio X. Subsequently, the photograph will flatten out and there's also an option of increasing or decreasing the intensity of the distortion and vignetting. And it's important to mention that Zonorama, the free and unlimited gallery, now has a brand new data center in Florida. And there you have it for the 2022 spring update of Zoner Photo Studio, which allows you to customize Zoner to your kind of workload and workflow. So now open up the program and take a look at the functions we mentioned, play around with it yourself. And I look forward to getting your guys' feedback, comments, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care. See you later.